Hello everybody, welcome to another Doug's Lab video. Today I'll be showing you my remote initiation system. It's kind of cool. Um, this box is way too big, but um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube making little remote igniters using Christmas tree lights and a 9 volt battery. But I'll show you something that works a lot better. Okay, inside this box I have a camera flash circuit. Now this was taken from a disposable camera, just an ordinary, you know, $5 disposable camera. Here's the uh, AA battery, right here is the capacitor, and this is the charging mechanism back here. Um, and what I've done is simply soldered two leads on each, or a, one lead on each leg of the capacitor, and uh, a lead on each side of the charging switch. And I've wired that all up to a series of these switches up here, so that when I press this blue switch, I can charge it when I press, uh, and then these two are in series, so I, I can arm it like that and fire like this. And basically just firing it, um, puts the capacitor across these two leads. So 300 volts at a substantial amount of current. Um, it does fire quite a bit of uh, energy out. So anyway, uh, let's see what it does to these little poor little Christmas lights. Um, I've put some spade connectors on here. I think that's what they're called. But I've modified them slightly so I can uh, so they'll fit a standard wall socket plug. And I've done this because um, obviously I, there's usually a lot of space required between this and whatever is on the other end of this. So uh, instead of buying ridiculous lengths of two-conductor wire, I decided that I should uh, improvise and be able to use uh, an extension cord that I have like in my garage or whatever. So I have hundreds of feet of extension cords laying around, and this works very nicely with that. So what I have here now is uh, simply a Christmas light that I've clipped the top off of with pliers. I would play around with heating it up and dipping it in water and breaking it off cleanly and stuff like that, but this isn't really of high importance because I'm just demonstrating it right now. But if I were making an actual device, um, you'd definitely see some better quality here. you got to watch because that's really sharp. So yeah, you stick, it, you stick the light in the base, um, you put the plugs on like that, and then we'll charge it up. Be quiet so you won't be able to hear this. Okay, it's charged. I don't know if you could hear that, but it winds up. It's kind of neat sounding. You can impress your friends with this. And I'm going to turn the lights off. Well, I'll show you. You arm it, and I'll turn the lights off when I press the button so you can see what it does to this poor Christmas light. All right, in three, two, one. There we go. It's quite an explosion, huh? Anyway, so that's my remote initiation system. Uh, and actually, I can show you again. We'll charge it up. And we'll just put the leads against this piece of aluminum foil. And I'll show you that it does pack quite a bunch. It'll probably blow holes in this foil. I've never, I haven't tried this yet. Um, I tried it against some substantial stock, but not foil. Okay, it's charged. Arm. Pressing the fire button, and I'm gonna touch it to the foil in three. Oh, let me turn the lights off. I'm touch it to the foil in three, two, one. There we go. I'll light back on. And as you can see. The foil clearly has two holes blown in it that are probably uh, four or five millimeters across. That's pretty good. So that's my system. Feel free to copy it. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just email me or leave a comment. Uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.